Hello all. So, as you all know, we were learning about passive voice and we have already understood how and why, when it is passive voice, when we use passive voice. Now, let me explain you further about this. So, now we will learn is about how to passive voice. Fine. So, now we will learn is how, how to passive voice active sentence. So, this is again we need to understand it very clearly these points because if we understand how to passivize active sentence a concept concept becomes clear and it becomes easy for us to passivize to passivize the sentence and even our understanding becomes easier because when our understanding is easy it becomes very easy that yes we passivize a sentence Fine. So, a communication becomes more stronger. So, now let us understand about this how to passivize active sentence. First, first is what we even earlier looked into the construction the same way, but now in detail we would go, we would understand all the steps that we need to follow, all the little steps there are they are nearly 4 to 4 to 5 steps that we need to follow. So, how would we follow the steps and do it? So, please understand this well. So, it becomes easy for you how to passivize a sentence, which sentence can be passivized, what are the rules that we need to follow during the passivization. So, this your concept becomes more clear. Fine. So, now when we are looking into generally when we see Generally, when we are talking, fine, only those verbs can be passivized, yes, can be passivized which have an object, yes, which have an object that is the transitive sentence, fine, the transitive sentence which have an object, only those, only those can be passivized. The first rule, this is must that we would follow. Only those verbs can be passivized which have an object. If the verb does not have an object, we cannot again. So, fine. So, the step 1 that we would understand, step 1 that we would follow, fine is the structure, fine. The structure of the passive voice is very simple. This even we have earlier understood the structure of the passive voice is very simple. It is the same thing that we have already earlier learnt in construction of passive voice or passive sentence. It is the same thing because the rules for the constructions are followed the same, but now as we are understanding all the steps, let us again understand the first step. As you know, it would become a revision and you will understand it in a better way. Fine. So, the first this thing is as we understood subject plus auxiliary verb fine plus main verb which is past participle. Again this is the most important point uh, when we have already learnt it we know well subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb that is part pa past participle. This is we would understand the first step the structure of the passive voice. This is compulsory for us to understand. We must understand this so that other things become easier for us a simple way. We know the main concept the structure and how the structure is formed. If we first understand, then we would know how to passivize this active sentence. First, when we know it, how would we do it? That is very important. So, let us go with the first step when we are saying again the main verb. When we are talking, again when we are understanding the same thing, the main verb is always in the past participle that we have already understood it here, 
when we are we have understood the main verb should be in the past participle it's fine the same thing is always the main verb is always past participle fine this is the first point that we would take care of fine and now next thing that we will take care of is the subject the subject so what do we know about the subject yes the subject of the active verb becomes the agent of the passive verb let's let's take it for a better understanding the subject of the active voice the subject of the active voice becomes the agent in the of the passive voice during active voice the subject of the active voice becomes the agent of the passive voice fine this one thing please keep it in mind then next point that we would take care of is the next point that we would take care of is the agent fine the agent is not very often mentioned so please again keep this in mind the agent is not very often mentioned how why see this understand the next point you your concept would become more clear although if mentioned if mentioned it is preceded it is preceded by by it is preceded by by this is one thing that we need to understand very clear that yes it is preceded by by and placed at the end of the clause this thing again is very important because if we understand this well it becomes an easy method because we have understood the points it becomes very easy for us to change from active to passive so here again when we are looking into the agent is not very important very often mentioned we don't mention fine and if it is mentioned although if mentioned please remember this although if mentioned it is preceded by by fine it is preceded by by and placed at the end of the clause after by it is mentioned next at the end of whatever sentence or clause it is fine so so again we need to understand few things the first point that we need to understand is first point put the verb to be in the same tense as the verb in the active sentence active voice or active sentence see first again this thing is very important that we need remember the tense won't change fine it would not put the verb to be in the same tense the verb would remain in the same tense fine as the verb in the active like example that we saw nathuram god say killed mahatma gandhi fine nathuram god say killed mahatma gandhi let's give take the example nathuram god say killed mahatma gandhi fine when we are understanding this nathuram god say killed mahatma gandhi fine now when we are converting this sentence from active to passive this is active fine this is active now when we are converting to passive even mahatma gandhi gandhi was killed by nathuram god say fine and this is passive voice this is in passive so again when we are seeing mahatma gandhi was killed when we have used this thing fine killed killed the form of the tense has not changed it remains the same so please take care of this part nathuram god say killed mahatma gandhi 
Mahatma Gandhi was killed. The word killed remains same. Fine. So, please take care of it. The tense would not change. Fine. What they have mentioned here is that we need to take care. Put the verb to be in the same tense. The verb we have used is kill. Kill that we have used is killed. Again killed will remain same. But again over here we have used is was. That is a different thing. But the verb that we have used we have changed it. So, accordingly please take care of this part. Fine, this is very important and it is to be understood. Second point that we are looking at is use of use the past participle of the verb in the active sentence. So, again we need to take care of is the past participle of the word verb of the verb that we have used we will use the past participle like we have used here was killed. Killed remains same killed, but again the past participle is was killed fine in the act the inactive it is killed it will remain killed, but again we have used the past participle. So, was killed we are now using was killed fine then again we would take care of is in the same point the same point that we are talking is only sentences of the past participle again only sentences containing direct object. Again please remember this point it is important fine and if you understand this the conversion of active to passive passivizing becomes easier fine. So, only sentence containing direct object can be made into made into passive sentence because the direct object yes because the direct object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence like in earlier example that we have understood Nathuram Godse killed Mahatma Gandhi Nathuram Godse was the subject and Mahatma Gandhi was the object there now it is now changed to the same thing this becomes Nathuram Godse was the object there is now Nathuram Godse which was the subject there now is the object here like Mahatma Gandhi which was the object there is now the subject fine in passive voice Mahatma Gandhi is the subject Mahatma Gandhi was killed by that was Nathuram Godse. So, the who was the object in the uh, active sentence Mahatma Gandhi. So, now when we are converting it Mahatma Gandhi becomes a subject in the passive voice fine. So, again we will take care of this if the sentence again there is one more point that we would take care if the sentence does not have a direct does not have a direct object you cannot change it into passive voice passive voice a passive sentence. So, again this is very important that we remember if the sentence does not have a direct object fine Mahatma Gandhi was the direct object if we did not have it if we say Nathuram God say killed whom did he kill fine we do not have you cannot change it into passive fine who killed when a question is asked there is an answer Nathuram God say killed, but again we do not have a complete sentence fine we do not have the subject object and all those things. So, in that case we cannot passivize the sentence. So, this again we will remember this are this is one important point that we would remember then next we would come to step 2 
step 2 when we are looking into step 2 again there is there are some other add on points that will help us in understanding how to passivize a sentence. So, now let us understand in step 2 according to the tense to the tense and the subject fine according to the tense and the subject use an an appropriate form of the verb that is be the be form of the word we say it as the be form we call it as the be form according to the tense again please keep this into the mind according to the tense which tense are we using in which tense are we talking so according to the tense and the subject what is the subject subject of the sentence fine use an appropriate form of the verb b form we have to use the b form and let us remember again in this for present when we are saying present tense let us again uh, understand this in this way when we are talking in present in present tense fine in present we have is is am are is am are in so correct b form the b form correct form that we are using is is am are then in past we would do is in past tense what we would use is was where fine then we have perfect perfect tense in perfect tense what we will use yes for perfect we will use been for continuous yes so continuous we will be using it as being fine and two infinitives two infinitives two infinitives we will use to be fine and imperatives and models will use be please please carefully observe this and understand this what we would do is for present tense as we spoke about as we spoke about according to the tense fine according to the tense and the subject use an appropriate form of verb the b form of verb so what are the b form of words appropriate form of b form of words that we will use according to the tense please see this present tense we have is am are we will be using using for present tense is is am and are fine for past tense we will use was and where was and where for perfect tense for perfect tense we will use been for continuous we will use being for being fine to infinitives to infinitives we will use to be in for imperatives and models for imperatives and models we will use b b e b fine so i hope this is this whole thing is uh, now clear into the mind so that when we have to use the b form from active to passive we don't have confusion we are clear on to the point that yes what have I to do if this is the thing if this is the point fine if it is present tense what am I supposed to do in past tense what am I supposed to do and accordingly follows. So, the again this thing that we need to remember is change the given verb into its past participle. So, as needed 
please take the action accordingly there should not be confusion now that we have understood the complete concept change the given verbs into the past participle as needed fine so i hope this concept is clear now let us proceed further with step 3 now when we are learning let us understand step 3 fine so what does step 3 tell us about fine so step 3 says wherever necessary fine so wherever necessary use an appropriate use an appropriate preposition like by with well and to etc which we feel any preposition which really comes to the match we can but again we need to look into according to the tenses and other things so by with to are commonly used prepositions and we would take care is wherever necessary use an appropriate preposition which rightly suits where by is needed we cannot use ok any one of them I can use so let me use either to or with no where by is needed it would be by where with is needed Ram is with Sham fine this is just an example I have given but it does not have any active and passive this thing but again with when with is give required with where we cannot like the example that we used Mahatma Gandhi was killed by Nathuram Godse we cannot say Mahatma Gandhi was killed with Nathuram Godse no Nathuram Godse was allowed was not killed with him fine so again preposition changes the meaning so accordingly use the right preposition appropriate preposition which matches fine then now let you let me give you the example of active and passive smoke filled the room so when we are talking smoke filled the room smoke smoke filled the room so how would we change it into passive what are the things that we would follow yes now over here the object is the room would now become the subject the room now when we are changing it as learnt the room was filled now here comes the thing will we use by or with now smartly think for a second will we use by or with because again the meaning changes accordingly fine the room was filled with smoke the room was filled with smoke so we here right would come is with and again when we are looking at the first two to three points those all things when we could match it yes so match check so your understanding becomes clear the object became the subject the verb filled remained filled fine but ok past participle that we use was filled now by with and to again over here when I am using by see the meaning changes the room was filled by smoke filled by smoke so what did smoke fill again there is a question raising what did smoke fill into the room fine it becomes senseless this room was filled to smoke what sense it gives it gives no meaning no sense right one goes is with understand what the sentence is smoke filled the room fine the room was complete of smoke smoke filled the room the room was filled with smoke so please over here with would come and no by and to let me give an one more example this is the first example let us take one more ok secretary wrote a 
a letter, secretary wrote a letter to the governor, secretary wrote a letter to the governor. So, now when we are looking into for passive when we are looking into how would we convert the first rule that we would follow again over here it would go is what is the object a letter fine a letter is the object was written wrote for wrote the past participle would go is return fine but again the tense remains the same past tense wrote is again a past tense return is again the same past tense fine wrote return to the governor again here we will use by the secretary fine i hope all the points that we have learned are clearly seen into this sentence please observe it understand it it will help you out a lot fine so the step 3 is clearly understood what exactly it says now let me share with you step 4 let us now understand about step 4 fine step 4 now the change this is change the subject change the subject that is in the active yeah in the active voice the subject in the active voice fine change the subject in the active voice into the object object form and what is that let us understand in the passive fine in the passive and and vice versa fine and vice versa we would say so please understand this change the subject in the active into the object form in the passive and vice versa naturally then what happens there what was subject here is object and here what is object is their subject so vice versa it goes fine now let me again help you out this let us understand subjective form and objective form the subjective form and the objective form let us understand it well now I was like I would turn to me we us you remains you he him she her so that we are understanding we would accordingly go it remains it they them if any name like example sam remains sam this is just an example of the name Sam or any other name even let us take uh, Sam or Harry same thing Sam or Harry it remains. So, now let us understand it see when we are talking about this same change in subject in the active voice into the object form in the passive fine how would it do and vice versa how would it go and again the subjective form and objective form you need to understand it well so again there would not be a question like in subject it was i why is it changed to me that should not be understood that should not be a confusion fine i hope we know this so i in objective form would go me we would become us you remains you he becomes him she becomes her it remains it they become them 
Sam or Harry, any name. Let us let me again make it name remains as the name. Fine. So, in step 4, this is these are the points that we need to understand. We need to understand and work out accordingly. So, that it becomes a easy flow of changing from active to passive. Now, so we have understood now step 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now let us conclude it. The points to remember that we need to till now that, that we have learnt into active and passive. Let us let us remember the points, points to remember. This is again very important. Please now again understand this. This would help you in understanding about how would we passivize and till now what we have learnt from the starting of passive voice. Fine. Now, when you change, please remember when you change a sentence from the active to the passive. So, now what are the points that we need to remember when you change a sentence from active voice to passive voice? First is the tense of the helping verb or verbs remain or remains accordingly it will be if verbs remains if verb remain remain the same and the active or the main active or the main or lexical lexical verb changes into its past its past participle so i hope you understand this this point is mainly that we need to remember Fine, so that our passivization of the sentence becomes easy. Fine, and the second point that we would remember is the verb must agree with subject of the sentence during passivization. This is again one very important point that we need to keep in mind. The verb must agree with the subject of the sentence during passivization. And the last point that we need to remember, the third point that we need to remember is passive verb are made up of two main verbs. One is helping verb plus past participle this. This we need to take care of. The passive verb are made of two main parts. What are they helping verb plus past participle plus past participle of the active verb. Fine. And the forms of auxiliaries can be taken care of accordingly. Fine. So, I hope we remember today that we have learnt. We have understood the points that are need to be remembered. Fine. So, accordingly please understand, read it, understand and try to understand it in a better manner that we can passivize the sentences from active to passive easily. Thank you and have a great day.